Hey guys, my name is Kirstie and welcome back to Upside Down Books and today we're going to be doing my June book haul. So I was actually quite good in June and I didn't buy too, oh, I didn't spend too much money but I did acquire a few books as per usual. Um, most of these are from one particular book haul that I did from the Book Grocer which is like a discounted bookstore here in Australia and um, uh, so the majority of the books have come from that haul so they became an extremely discounted price which was awesome and I'm really excited about all of them. So as always let's start with my audiobook so I don't forget to haul that one. So the audiobook that I got in June is The Rose Code by Kate Quinn. This is historical fiction and it is set during World War II I think. I actually don't really know that much about it or at least I have forgotten. So I believe that the main character in this one is set in England during 1940s so when England is fighting the Nazis and I believe that the main character is a female translator who is trying to decode and translate German secrets. I think it's gonna be really good. It's quite highly rated. It's a book that has been on my radar for 2021 releases so I'm really looking forward to getting around to it. I've been taking a new approach with audiobooks or I will be taking a new approach where I'm trying to pick the best genre and the best stories for me whilst I'm driving as that's when I'm going to be doing most of my audiobook reading and whilst I usually have got heavy fantasies such as when I got Lord of the Rings, not that I've tried reading that one yet, or The Magician or things like that, I find them quite hard to focus on whilst I'm driving so I'm going to try and stick with historical fiction and with slightly lighter or less complex stories with less world building so that I can actually listen to the story whilst I'm driving. So I'm hoping that I can continue uh, with books that are in the similar vein to this one going forwards because I think that they'll be better suited for driving and reading. The next book I want to show you is one that I actually got in a subscription box. So I have been subscribed to a Perth-based, um, Australian-based bookish subscription box called The Fable Crate. Um, I'm not actually continuing with it just because I, I it's expensive and life, um, but I have from my last book got a really really pretty book and that is The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. So this actually has a cover, an alternate cover that you might recognize, which is this one. But for collaboration with the subscription box they have done this really pretty sort of floral theme. I don't know how fitting that is with the story um, and it is a little bit, it's very shiny. I prefer my own covers matte but that's okay. Um, I actually, it took me like a full month to realize that this was that book. I thought it was a completely different story and then I realized it was the same author, it just had a unique cover. So this is like a paranormal um, fantasy story. It's got, it's absolutely stunning with the cover off so it looks like this when it is naked and it is absolutely gorgeous so honestly I would be in favor of taking the jacket off but there is some artwork on the inside which is very trending at the moment I think because of our crate or Fake Crate or one of those ones. Um, so we have what I assume is a quote and characters from the story. So that's really pretty. Um, but yeah, this one is about witches. I don't know if I need to know more than that. I think the magic system is based on the season. So depending on what season you're born in, I don't know. Must be affiliated with to some degree, then that depends on the type of magic that you have. I have heard some brilliant reviews for this one, so I am really looking forward to picking it up. The next book I have to show you is a review copy that I received in June, and that is what you can see from here by Mariana Lecky. So this, I think this has been translated from German and it is set in Western Germany. I don't know when it's set, but it is about this main character who sees an okapi, which I think is just a brilliant animal that I am obsessed with. Um, they look like this, they have like a zebra bottom, but otherwise look normal. Um, and the okapi is a, an omen of, of, of death. Someone is about to die soon. So the premise of this book is that this girl dreams of an okapi, sees a vision of it, and therefore knows that someone is about to die. So I'm really excited to read this. It came out at the very beginning of July. So this is available now to purchase. I was sent a copy from Bloomsbury. So thank you so much Bloomsbury for sending me a copy. I, I just, I can't wait to get into it. I think it's going to be quite an addictive little read, which should be Fantastic. So that brings me to the rest of the haul, which is from this big discounted book haul, and I am super excited to show you these books. So the first one is The Girl and the Stars by Mark Lawrence. I've had my eye on this for a really long time. I just love the cover of this one. I think it might be a retelling set in like Ice Age times. The blurb is a slightly abstract on this edition, so I'm not 100% sure, but um, the opening line says, East of the Black Rock, out of the ice, lies a hole broken children are thrown down. Sounds like quite 
um, dark there, but I have heard some good reviews about this one, so I'm hoping to learn more about it when I actually get around to reading it and find out a bit more because, yeah, the blurb is relatively vague. So I'm hoping for like an Ice Age setting here. I hope I'm right on that one. So I then was on a mission to get some of the first books in this series to books that I hauled in May for my birthday. I got these mystery boxes. If you haven't seen that book haul, then you can check that out. I hauled a whole 55 books last month, which was insane. But a lot of those books, or a few of those books in the mystery boxes, uh, were book two in a series. So I have been trying to find book one and this is one of them. So God Blind is by Anna Stevens and I have now have the first book in this series which means that I can read this and the sequel that I got in the other box. Um, so this is the blurb for this one. This is not very well known. I've never heard of this before so I shall read it to you. There was a time when the red gods ruled the land and the dark lady and her horde dealt in death and blood and fire. That time has long since passed and the neighboring kingdoms of Miraces and Rilpur hold an uneasy truce. The only bloodshed confined to the border, where vigilantes known as wolves protects their kin and territories at any cost. I think that kind of gives you a good idea of what this book is about. We've got sort of, you know, that epic fantasy sort of vibe. So, and it has been um, compared to Joe Abercrombie and to George R. R. Martin, which are two big hitting names in the fantasy world. So I'm hoping and expecting good things from this one. And then saw two books that were um, on sale for books one and two, and I have had my eye on these for like a really long time. And it's by the same author, so Mark Lawrence. So it's Prince of Fools and The Liar's Key. I couldn't really tell you what these are about off the top of my head. I just know that at some point I flagged these up as things that I really want to buy. And I, matching editions, this makes me very happy. I am definitely getting the lines of Loch Lamora vibes from these, um, but I don't know how similar it is. So this is the opening line to the blurb on book one. I am a liar and a cheat and a coward, but I will never ever let a friend down. Unless of course, not letting them down requires honesty, fair play or bravery. So, very curious to see what these hold. I know that these are well rated, so I am really, really hoping that I enjoy them when I get to it, especially because I've already bought book two, which is something I don't usually do. The next book on what is one I'm just so excited to see because this isn't too old. Oh my God, the font is tiny. Look how small this font is. That is gonna give me a headache to read. So this is Vita Nostra and it's uh, by Mariana and Sergei Derchenko. Um, it's been translated from, I want to say Russian. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna read the blurb of this one too because I find it super intriguing. Um, so, Sasha has just met Farid and her life will never be the same again. Whilst on holiday, Sasha is asked by the mysterious Farid to undertake a strange task for him. Reluctantly, she obliges and is rewarded with a shining golden coin. The more tasks she performs, the more coins Sasha receives until Ferry instructs her against the wishes of her family to travel to a remote village and use her gold to gain entrance to the Institute of Special Technologies. Sasha quickly discovers that this is no ordinary school. The books are impossible to read, the lessons obscure to the point of maddening, and the knowledge itself refuses to be remembered. Despite this, Sasha undergoes changes that defy matter and time, with experiences that are nothing like what she could have dreamed of before, but which are suddenly all she could ever want. But this learning comes at a cost. The school uses terror and coercion to keep students in line. Should they transgress at all, their families pay a terrible price. When I first read this blurb, I was super intrigued because it's really quite abstract. And I believe it is a retelling or some take on the folklore of whatever language slash country that this has originally been translated from. The next book I don't know much about, but I managed to get, it is one that I got um, because it's first in the series. I think I actually hold book five in the series in one of the mystery boxes, which wasn't spectacularly helpful. But this one is The Dragon's Path by Daniel Abraham. Um, so it is a huge fantasy book and I am hoping it actually involves dragons. It's about war, it's epic fantasy, it's huge. I will simply read this when it gets pulled out of my TBR jar. Never heard anything about this book before so this is new to me. I'm slightly intimidated um, by the size but thankfully it has large font as well so hopefully it'll be super addictive when I pick it up but yeah no idea what this is really about. I'm just hoping for epic swords and dragons and fighting and all the good stuff. And finally, that brings me to the last book I hold, which I was thrilled to get for such a discounted price, and that is Arcadia by Ian Pears. Um, so this is a really lovely hardback, where that is actually a cutout. Um, so you can see into the inside, I love it. Um, so this is this beautiful, huge um, sci-fi? I'm not sure if it's sci-fi or fantasy, but this has a lot going for it, so I am excited to get stuck into this one. I will read you the blurb for this because I think it sounds so cool. Three interlocking worlds, four people looking for answers, but who controls the future or the past? In the basement of a professor's house in Oxford, 15-year-old Rosie goes in search of a missing cat and instead finds herself in a different world. 
Anterworld is a sun-drenched land of storytellers, prophecies and ritual. But is this world real, and what happens if she decides to stay? Meanwhile, in a sterile laboratory, a rebellious scientist is trying to prove that time does not even exist, with potentially devastating consequences. A captivating adventure story with huge heart and a dazzling imaginative power, Arcadia is a wonderful new novel from best-selling author Ian Pears. So I'm so intrigued by this. I love the concept of a magic door leading to different places and the fact that there are three interlocking worlds in this one and I absolutely adore the effort that has gone into the finish of this book. So these are all the books that I hauled in June. I'm excited to get around to reading them. None of them are super high priority books so they will be going into my TBR jar and will be picked at a future time. So make sure you keep up with my TBR jars if you want to see when I will be reading these but let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these or if you're looking forward to reading any of them and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.